Hello and welcome to the Borman Park Report. I'm Chloe Corey and joining me today is Park Recreation Director Karen McCullum. Thanks for being here today. Thanks for having me. So the winter season is approaching, meaning the park is very busy. What can visitors expect to see this year? We encourage people to come on out um, and enjoy uh, the many uh, colorful light displays that we have on um, throughout the nights that start at 5 o'clock at night and go until 10 o'clock. And it's a free uh, display that you can drive through and set your radio station uh, to listen to the music that go along with the, uh, the many different light displays. Uh, so when you're in the hustle and bustle of the Christmas holiday, uh, to come on out and enjoy a little oasis away from all the hustle and bustle and enjoy the, the season. Um, and we always encourage people, uh, even when it's snowing, to come on out and enjoy our many hikes trails um, just because you know uh, it might not be that perfect weather it's a different perfect weather to enjoy uh, looking up at the trees and and seeing uh, the leaves that are down and and taking a walk and your dog will appreciate it as well uh, so we have over four miles of walking trails that uh, you can still use uh, during the winter months are there any activities for families of young children to participate in? Absolutely. Uh, tis the season for lots of fun things at Borven Park. Uh, we start off with our community Christmas uh, that is going to be uh, December 8th uh, at Borven Park. It's a Sunday night from 4 to 6. Uh, we have Santa Claus that comes in. We have the Borven Band that will play in uh, the historical St. James Meeting House. Uh, we have uh, a few and your family wants to start a new tradition of decorating a, a tree with edible arrangements for the animals to eat through the winter months, like uh, rolled pine cones and peanut butter and bird seed uh, or dried out uh, bagels. It's so fun to see uh, the creativity of the families and Girl Scout troops and Boy Scout troops and schools that come on out and decorate their trees and, and create a, a new family um, holiday tradition. We also have have new this year uh, it, it is called Christmas uh, Christmas in the Park hosted by Wondershrek um, and now reservation for that is going uh, very quickly so uh, if you're wanting your child to come on out and see uh, some Christmas horses and paint some ceramics um, that is going to be November 24th uh, and like I said that uh, event is filling up fast um, but we also have our supper with Santa everyone uh, their annual tradition of supper with Santa is going to be um, in December and we have it's an awesome opportunity for your family to come on out uh, take a picture with Santa eat some yummy uh, ooey gooey mac and cheese and nuggets um, and do some fun holiday crafts together um, and that event you can get tickets by going to our website at borvenpark.com or by calling the park office and then last uh, well not lastly but we also have our cookies for Santa so if mom and dad love to have cookies but they don't like the mess this is the opportunity for your little one to enjoy making cookies and rolling out the dough, uh, rolling out the cookies and covering it with all that ooey gooey, yummy, sugary goodness of icing and decorating it to, to their uh, to their delight. So uh, now those, you do need tickets so you can contact the park office or look on online at borbonpark.com. Do you guys still offer senior citizen and adult programming in the upcoming months? Absolutely. Um, in the next couple months, we have our Living Well Fun Days uh, that we do in partnership with Ohio Living um, at Borbon Park on Thursdays. Now we will have one in uh, one on the third Thursday in November and one on the third Thursday in December just because of how the holidays fall uh, and then we will start back up on two in December or in January the third Thursday and the fourth Thursday um, best thing to do is to contact either Ohio Living um, uh, Senior Center on um, 5th Avenue or Borman Park uh, to register for that and that's a great opportunity for senior citizens uh, 
uh, to come on out or older adults who want to stay active in the holiday season uh, to come on out to the park um, from 10 to 1 we do blood pressure screens we usually have a guest speaker we provide lunch and uh, we do bingo uh, and it only costs two dollars uh, to enjoy a little afternoon out a little afternoon outing so and to come and enjoy that and then new and exciting this year we are um, in years past we've had the wonderful string quartet that have come out and played a holiday concert out at St. James uh, this year uh, we have the YSU Dana School of uh, Horns section that is going to be coming out um, and they are going to be performing a concert um, as well. So uh, you can look at about all the events that are happening at Bourbon Park by going to our website at bourbonpark.com. So can people still use the park during the colder months to hike and rent? Absolutely. This is a great opportunity for people to rent for birthday parties, uh, for showers. Uh, this opportunity because we have four indoor meeting rooms that range in size from 42 to 120. So if you're needing an indoor place to have that birthday party, give the park office a call, as well as taking a hike. We always suggest people come on out and enjoy uh, Boardman Park, even in the winter months. And you know who will thank you? Your little dog. Uh, they will thank you, bring them out and take a hike, or taking them and becoming a member of Paws Town, the dog park. Uh, they would love to have that, that nice, safe area to run and play, especially in the winter months. Thanks for joining us today. Remember, you can always find more information about specific events at BoardmanPark.com. I'm Chloe Corey for BSTN, wishing you a great holiday season.